The other day, I went to the Mayam K Keep Community Keep Meet 2022 at GMBB in KL. I'd say this was the largest meet I've been to, as you can see from the number of logos here. I registered myself, left my two keeps, the BM40 and the Lily 58 Pro for people to molest. I went on to find split keyboards, but the ones that were there were only two corners and this Carabdis Nano guy by our Keeb Sifu Mr. Issei83. Really happy seeing this keep and trying to type on it, but I couldn't find it comfortable to type on from the get-go. So there were Alice's. This Ito Junji themed Alice. Cool creepy stuff. This hand painted Alice. Very Von Gogh. A couple of Dollises. A Keychron Q8. A basket weave with a big knob. This Jihani 65 and Jihyeong. And these two, which I haven't seen before, which is a 6 split and a YMDK 84 split with a dipped up mouse. There were only four 40% keys. This TU40, a for me, and this custom hand wired 40% by Albedo husband. Ainzu Ur Gon sama. Gojishin de handazuke o shite irasharu no sasuga Ainzu sama desu. Sonke shite mas. So apart from the split keyboards and the 40%, these were the other keyboards that I was interested in. This had me laughing, not because of the key, but the goddamn thing was heavy for a little cute thing. I thought it was like close to 2 kilograms or something. Now this was interesting. Uh, it's a GigaChad keyboard that has 300 gram switches. I'd be impressed if anyone can type 60 words per minute on this, but apparently there is one guy. I like the keycaps on these. Hmm, looks cool. I like the clean katakana keycaps on this. The ceramic keycaps were interesting. One bongo cat keyboard? I think this one was cute and the typing experience was comfortable. Now this one is just plain clean. This do not touch razor keyboard? This keyboard with some artisan Egyptian pharaoh keycaps? The transparent keycaps on this keyboard. The Koi keycap on this keyboard. The Uwu keycaps on this keyboard paired with Harry Mouse switches. This cursed thing. And it was also cool that I got to see the Tamiya inspired paper plane. The amount of thought and customization on this design was inspiring. Also, I didn't know that there was another paper plane that used magnets instead of springs for dampening. There were a lot of artisan keycaps too. The day ended at around 6pm when we went through the lucky draws but all of them were sad because I didn't win anything. So here's the loot that I brought back from the meet. One losing ticket. Trust Fox Jaywick Voyager tactile switches I got from the lucky draw during registration. One key switch keychain with the MyMK Keep Community Meetup 22 logo on a Kale Box Jade Switch, I guess? By the way, I also made a MyMK Resin keycap on my Lily58 and also this channel's keycap. This lanyard thingamajig and this mystery gift from MyMKB consisting of... Random keycaps. Including a scroll lock! Who uses a scroll lock nowadays? And last but not least, a MyMK tote bag which was kinda cool, with a velcro badge, I guess. And that's how my biggest keep meat experience went. <laughs>